Cassie's Great Escape, written by Pat Turner, art by Chris Padaviano, read by Senecio Doe. Mama Linda closed Lottie and Letty's birdcage door. You lovebirds should be more comfortable now. I put brand new newspaper on your floor. I'm going to be gone until dark. You two keep an eye on Cassie for me. She must be sleeping late, Mama Linda said as she picked up her purse and headed out the door. Letty twirled around the birdcage. This new paper is nice, Lottie. It has colored pictures. And look here is a picture of Cassie. No way, Lottie said. Why would Cassie be in a newspaper? Did someone call my name? Cassie asked as she strolled into the kitchen. Look, Letty said, your picture is decorating the floor of our birdcage. Cassie jumped up on the kitchen counter and peeped into the birdcage. That does look like me, Cassie said, but it's not me. Maybe some of my relatives from the jungle. What is this story about, Letty? Letty read, Magnificent Michael and his marvelous monkeys will be at the Goldsboro Fairgrounds today only. 68 of the world's smartest primates will dazzle and delight you with death-defying feats of courage. Shows at 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Cassie scratched her head. I've never been called a smart primate. I've never dazzled anyone with feats of courage. Lottie, Letty, cover for me. If Mama Linda gets home before I do, tell her I'm playing hide and seek. I've never got to see the marvelous monkeys, Cassie said as she grabbed her scarf from the coat rack. Lottie called after Cassie. No, please don't go, Cassie. You're going to get in trouble or you might get her. Too late, Cassie was out the door. She jumped from tree to tree and light pole to light pole. Wee! Cassie explained as she flew through the air. I am a marvelous monkey. I'm going to dazzle and delight everyone with my tricks. Cassie was nearly out of breath when she reached the fairgrounds. Wow! Cassie said, I've never seen such a large tent. And I've never seen so many people. People were everywhere. Cassie dodged in and out of the crowd, stopping just outside the entrance to the big red and white circus tent. Cassie peeked inside. This is amazing, she said. In the center of the tent, Cassie saw a round stage decorated with twinkling lights and lush vines and trees. People cheered and clapped as monkeys of all shapes and sizes swung from trapeze. Other monkeys dressed in brightly colored costumes danced to the primitive beat of drums. What are you doing out here? Why aren't you dressed and up there on stage? A tall man dressed in black demanded loudly of Cassie. Startled Cassie didn't know what to say. Take this monkey back to the cage. It's too late to get her ready for this show. But see that she is ready for the six o'clock show, the tall man said as he tossed Cassie to a big man with a cane. The next time you goof off, Mr. Michael will not be so easy on you. Do you understand? The man asked as he locked Cassie inside a cage. Cassie looked around the dirty cage, scared and alone. She curled up in a corner and cried herself to sleep. Loud shouting woke Cassie a few hours later. Hey, look what we have here, a monkey said. Cassie sat up and rubbed her eyes. 68 monkeys stared at her. I'm Cassie, Cassie said in a small scared voice. When I saw the advertisement in the newspaper, I thought I'd like to be a marvelous monkey, too. But a man grabbed me and threw me in this dirty cage. Well, you'd better get used to this dirty cage, a white-haired monkey said. Once you get in this cage, you don't ever get out. I've got to get out, Cassie said. I have a family here in Goldsboro. They will miss me if I don't go back home. Back at Mama Linda's home, 
Bonnie and Letty paced around their birdcage. I'm worried about Cassie. She's been gone too long, Letty. Lottie said, I think we should go look for her. She may need our help. Letty agreed with Lottie. Using their strong toes, Lottie and Letty unlocked the cage door. Lottie sawed a hole in a window screen with his sharpie. After holding the screen open for Letty, Lottie squeezed through the hole. Away they flew to rescue Cassie. Billy, Mama Linda's bulldog, heard the commotion as the two lovebirds flew across the yard. He called to them, Are you two crazy? Where do you think you're going? I've got to find Cassie. We think she's in trouble, Letty said. In trouble? You two may need some help. I'm going with you, Billy the Bulldog said. As they neared the fairgrounds, the lovebirds flew high in the sky to get a better look. There is a circus tent, Lottie called to Billy. Lottie and Letty perched on top of the tent. Looking down into the tent, Letty said, There's no one here, Billy. Billy sniffed the air. Cassie was here. She hasn't been gone long. Let's go. I think she went this way. Billy raced towards a large trailer park in the back of the fairgrounds. Here, Billy, I think I see them, Lottie called as he circled the trailer. Billy peeped around the trailer, spotting a large cage filled with monkeys. A big man shouted loudly and banged on the cage with a cane. Okay, you monkeys, come on out. It's time to suit up for the next show. 68 monkeys tumbled from the cage. One small monkey with a pink bow in her hair huddled in a corner. You, the man shouted. Didn't I tell you earlier that Mr. Michael will not be so easy on you next time? You goof off? Get out of there and get dressed. Billy the Bulldog barked loudly at the man. Lottie and Letty flew straight at the man's face. Letty grabbed his hat with her beak, pulling it over his eyes. Billy jumped up on the man and knocked him to the ground. Come on, Gassy, Billy said. Let's get out of here. 68 monkeys cheered and clapped as Billy held the cage door for Cassie. Looking back at the monkeys, Cassie called out, Marvelous monkeys, hurry! Come with us. We'll help you find a better home. No, little one, a wise old monkey said. You need to leave here while you can. Go back to your family. Forget about being a marvelous monkey. And don't ever forget this. All that glitter is not gold. I won't forget, Cassie agreed. I don't want to be a marvelous monkey. I just want to go home. Come on, Billy. Come on, Lottie and Letty. Let's get home before Mama Linda does. That night, tucked safely in bed, Cassie said a special prayer. Thank you, baby Jesus, for Mama Linda. Thank you for my good friends, Billy the Bulldog, and Lottie and Letty. Thanks for getting us home safe. Take care of the marvelous monkeys, and help me to remember that all the glitter is not gold. Amen. Tired but happy, Cassie fell fast asleep. She dreamed of her home in the singing jungle before she came to live with Mama Linda. She dreamed of brightly colored birds with huge beaks, nesting in tall trees. She dreamed of banana leaves so large she used them as blankets at night. She dreamed of sweet smelling red, pink, and blue flowers growing thick on jungle vines. Best of all, she dreamed of her family. Not the family she left behind in the jungle, but her new family, Mama Linda, Lottie, and Letty and Billy the Bulldog.